These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. are being equated. Splines are reticulating. No incantations, no sorcery, no suspicious wiggling of fingers. I'm not a wizard, not really. Honest to gods, I'm... I'm a, a, an engineer, just an engineer. something familiar about him but more importantly what does he know about the engine what are you doing here old man what am i my dear chap i designed and built this engine this is all me it's an accomplishment without equal in this world and i uh... so what does it do what does it uh, uh it uh <clears throat> it calculates it's a giant calculating machine, that's all. <laughs> He's not being particularly forthcoming, and there's no time for diplomacy here. I'll break each and every bone in your body until you start talking. No, 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 please. I... I don't really know what they're using it for. I, I mean, it's an engine designed to make infinitely complex calculations, numbers, equations, beyond any mortal mathematician's skills. But I don't know what the Prophet and his Azadi emissary are planning. I'm simply doing the Prophet's bidding. I didn't have a choice. I don't make the grand plans. As I said, just a humble engineer. I find that hard to believe. Believe what you... Oh, thank the cruel gods of old you're here, finally. Please save me from this barbarian brute. Good job taking out the frail old guy. Hey, Clax! What does that mean? It means, hey, Clax, as in Roper Clax, wizard, puppeteer, writer, entertainer, slightly creepy geezer. What's Clax doing here? Last time I saw him, he got arrested by the Azadi for doing a puppet show about magic. Don't ask. It appears he's working with the Azadi, not against them. But it doesn't matter. I need to contact for doubt. And I'll be perching right over here, keeping an eye on things. Hello? Hello? Enu? Anna? For doubt? Anyone there? How does this Shadow Forge thing work? We're here, Kian. Thank goddess. So, what now? Hello? You don't actually have to speak so loud, Kian. We can hear you perfectly well. I'll put Ferdos on. One moment. A puzzle? 
I mean, uh, Mir? Kion? Uh, right. Okay, so, remember our first conversation? You're inside the core now, the heart of the engine, and the chamber you're in, it's a, um, a battery. It contains all the dreams the tower has collected, millions of them. You've probably seen the big glowing blue pillar. That's the vortex, the manifestation of the dream energy. You're standing by the main controls to the engine. I don't need details for Dows. Just tell me what to do. Sorry. So, there's a way to control the engine from where I am, but you need to give me direct access first. Right now, the engine will be in automatic mode, because it's, it's designed to be autonomous during the final calculations. You need to put it back into manual mode. There should be a panel to the left of the speaking tube. Locate the knob with a hand symbol on it. That indicates manual controls. And we're in manual mode. Good. That's great work. Um, um, we need to act fast because warning lamps will be lighting up all over. Now that we've disabled the automatic mode, you need to patch me directly into the engine's controls. Uh, do you see the, the panel on, on the, um, uh, I think the far wall behind you? Those are the pipes that connect to my location, to the, um, to the knobs on my console. You must switch that panel's redirector at the same time you switch the signal repeater on the main console. Switch what with what? At the same time? That that panel's on the other side of the chamber. This operation usually requires two people. For Dows, I'm on my own here, you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, sure. It's still the only way to make this work, so, uh... I'll figure something out. Hold on. Bird, we have a problem. Naturally. And since you're including me, Crow, in this conversation, what is it you need me to do for you? Fadows needs access to the engine in order to reprogram it. Fairy Dows? Reprogram? Those words sound like gobbledygook to me. Just listen. Fadows, will Crow be able to switch on the redirector? Crow? What crow? Oh, it's that adorable bird who's friends with Zoe. Hey, Kion, are you with Crow? How did that happen? Crow is a large and reasonably intelligent magical fowl capable of following basic directions. Can he turn the switch? Reasonably intelligent? I, um... Uh, I don't see why not. It's... it's just a switch. Reasonably? Good. So, Crow. That panel on the other side of the room, there's a switch. Fadows, what does the switch look like? Reasonably? Really? It's big and it's painted green. It should be easy to find, even for a... a bird. Even for a... Oh, just wait till I get my beak on you, fella. All right, point me in the right direction and I'll flip your switch. Even a bird of reasonable intelligence should be able to pull that one off. Good. So, you'll need to go... There. See that panel? Look for a green switch. Wait for my signal. Then flip it. Gotcha. Wait. What kind of signal? Uh, a signal, I don't know. A, a wave. What if you have to wave for some other reason? That could get confusing. A fine arm waving. I'll keep my eyes open for flapping arms. Wait! Did you actually call me Crow before? Not Bird, but Crow? I have no memory of that. You did. You love me. I'll do anything for you, Kian. Anything you want. I can't believe you called me Crow. Just do this, Bird. Crow. There it is again! Consider it done, Kian. Partner. Best friend. Crow's on his way to the other panel. What do I do on my end? So, let's see. There should be uh, three panels where you're standing. 
and further right, another set of three panels. See the big lever on the first panel? That's the one you need to pull. There's only one. Y you can't miss it. Probably. Pull the lever and hold it down while the talking bird flips the switch on the other panel. Don't let go until I tell you to. Understood. Kian? Kian? What are you... Tana? Mother? Light. Why are you here, Kian? How did you... I'm relieved to see you. Where's... Where's Ami? Is he here? He, he's confronting Vamon's men. Together with the Resistance. Mother... We've seen the camps. We know what's been happening on Guyen. I we... know. I know. We need to talk urgently. But not here. We must leave now before... Wait. What are you doing here? I've... kept my eye on this engine. Trying to learn what it can do. Kian, I need to tell you something important, and we don't have much... Okay, remind me again about that sign you're supposed to give me, Kian. Was it one arm above your head, or... Oh, hello. Wait, what? You two actually know each other? Crow. What? Does everyone know each other? How many people are there in the world? Five? I guess I should be used to this by now. I've been around you guys long enough, nothing should surprise me. So, Mother, how's the Office of Scientific Research going? You just let me know when you need another message delivered. I'm your bird. The Office of Scientific... You... work for the Office of Scientific Research? Oh, Kian. Works? <laughs> Mother Utana runs the Office of Scientific Research. I know this because I've been a messenger bird for the Mother both in Sadir and here in Mercuria. She's the top dog, numero uno. No one above. She is the Office of Scientific Research. I was going to tell you, Kian. Just... Not like this. Not now. I guess it can't be helped. You knew about the camps. About the Magicals. About what... What Sister Alessandra was doing. How long? How long have you known? Wait. Are you behind all of this? I don't know what to say, except... I am... truly... truly sorry. <laughs> just... Uh, just lie down. I'm sorry. Hold still. Don't die on me. You left me no choice. What... What did you do? Did you just stab him? Why? That's... What happened here? Who's that? An inconvenience. I took care of it. For your sake, I hope you're right. What's the matter with you? That... Goo. He sucker-punched me. And now you're back on your feet, so get to... What's the bird doing here? You? Aren't you? No, 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 don't! Afford any more distractions. The dreams are restless. The engine is ready. It is time.
Unit 7 proceeding towards sequencing. Affirmative Central will find prior rows. Shit. I'm trapped. We have a runner exiting bioengineering. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. No, 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 no. Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Affirmative. Head back to bioengineering. There may be witnesses. Take care of them. Affirmative, Watching Central. to do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Bioengineering is clear. Repeat, we're clear. No survivors and no prior roads. Resuming control towards secrecy. <laughs> Stop! Hold it right there! Sequencing. Well, at least I know which direction I'm supposed to be heading. Upwards. Seven proceeding towards sequencing. Affirmative. 
Private detection will find Briar Rose. Shit. I'm trapped. We have a runner exiting bioengineering. This is not Briar Rose. Shoot to kill. No, 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 no. Target's down. Repeat, the target's dead. Multi Central. Poor God. Poor, I hate to do this, but I need this more than you. I'm sorry. Central, I have eyes on Briar Rose. What do you want me to do with her? Affirmative. Briar Rose is running. Zone 3. All eyes on Zone 3. Hey. Hey, stop right there. Dad? Zoe, don't... Stop! Don't move or I shoot! We got her. She's in the core. I repeat, target is in the core. Stay there. Everyone, stay exactly where you are. Hello, Zoe. Lady, I told you. Mum. Helena. Dad, what's going on? What is this place? You need to get out of here. Now. Everyone, stop talking! The new age. Goddess, protect me. I pray I'm doing right by you. We cannot let outsiders dictate the future of our empire. The Prophet is a tool, and so is this engine. Your light is eternal, Goddess. Under my watch, it will reach the darkest corners of the world, and beyond. Behold! The mechanical revolution, an end to magic, the dawn of enlightenment. Witness the engine and its awesome powers.
Keon! Keon, please respond. I don't think he can hear you, Anna. If he's hurt, we'll need a new plan. Shit. We can't even get out of here with those soldiers trying to break in. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, is it just me, or is it, uh... Quiet? The soldiers must have left. Something's going on. Something bad if they've abandoned their posts. We need to move. Now, if we can't get through to Kian, or if he's... dead, we need to get into the tower ourselves. But how? If the Azadi really have abandoned their posts? Through the front door. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I'm sure it will be. Let's go. Wait! Okay, you two head for the tower. I'm going to find the others. If the Azadi are running scared, we have an opportunity to strike back. All right. Stay safe, Annie. You too. I hope Kian's okay. I'm sure he's okay. Kian's always okay, right? Dad? You must have a lot of questions. Hey, why... Why am I locked up in here? Let me out! I can't do that, but I promise I'll explain. Just try to relax. Please, I... Is that... Dad? Dad! Dad, what's happening? Let me out! He can't. Not yet. What did you do? I had to subdue him. There's so much at stake, I can't afford anyone getting overly emotional. Even though Helen is my mother, she clearly has little empathy for me. Pleading may be pointless, but maybe she'll respond to anger. Open this up right now! Let me go! Let me out, or I swear I'll... Calm down. Getting upset won't help you or your father. After we're done, you can leave. You and Gabrielle. That was the deal. Done with what? The culmination of 30 years of research. My life's work. Rebooting the world. What? I will explain, and hopefully you'll understand. But first, I do need you to calm down and be rational. Nothing good will come from panicking. She's right. There's no point fighting this. Not yet. All I can do is... Breathe. That's better. Deep breath, Zoe. Now listen to me. For the past year and a half, you've been in a coma inside Jeeva's labs in Mumbai. You've been dreaming. No, that's not possible. Hold on, I'm not saying it's all been a dream. Everything you've experienced has been real. That's what's so amazing and exciting, Zoe. While you were dreaming, you projected a physical binary of yourself into the waking world. Think of it like entangled particles, one copy here in my lab and one in Europolis. You dreamed yourself a new life in Propast, and it came to be as real as anything. But why? Two reasons. Misdirection, to keep Wadi Corp off our backs, and more importantly, to trigger your memories and activate your latent powers. We needed you to return to that... Uh, that parallel other world to find and absorb a primal source of dreaming energy to fulfill your potential. Lux, are you there? You have a unique skill. You must have realized this by now. You can reshape reality. I'm a dreamer. There have always been stories of those born with the power to change the world. I couldn't wait around for that to happen, so your father and I made you. 
they were married. Of course they made me. What does she mean? What do you mean by made? You were the first experiment, our first creation. We designed you, the first manufactured dreamer. You were born in this lab. There were other experiments, half-sisters. Faith, of course, the final girl. She was a mistake. And you met Hannah not so long ago. She was the second experiment, after you. You were drawn to each other, and she was drawn here, to Angana, to the dreams. I know she's in Mumbai, but she's not strong enough to affect anything. She poses no threat. None of them worked out, not the way we intended. And I didn't think you would either. So I let your father take you away when you were a toddler. He cared so much about you. He was willing to give up everything, his life, his career. Me? How could I say no? It wasn't until you connected to a dream machine that I realized your powers were there, only latent. That's why I put you in a coma and brought you back here. I did it to protect you. If I hadn't, Wadi would have taken you. Your father had no choice but to come along. He did what he had to do to keep you safe. We both did. We saved your life, Zoe. And we made a deal. Gabrielle would help me finish what we'd begun. We'd be partners again. And then, afterwards, he could take you home. I'd leave you alone. The deal still stands once we finish changing the world. Did she just say what I think she said? Changing what? Changing everything for the better. I need you to understand this. We're going to remake the world, you and I. How? I don't have time to go into details, but there's a place we go when we dream. Story time. Different cultures have different names for it. The Aranda people of Australia call it dream time. Think of it as the initial state of all matter and energy in every possible universe. The blueprint. All realities originated in this initial state, and they remain entangled, evolving one universe affecting another. Wave energies are fueled by dreams. Particles in our world are entangled with particles in Arcadia because they were created together in story time. Eingana has the power to change the wave field, and thus the observable universe through dreams. Wati, the dream machine. What about my friends in Propast? What about Reza? Were they just dreams? If I dreamed myself into Europolis, what about Reza? My friends, were they... Dreams? No, you don't understand. They're real. All of it was real, Zoe. You were there, in Propast. A physical projection, walking amongst real people. A three-dimensional copy made flesh, using the power of dreams. And they never realized. Well, at least most of them didn't. I sent someone to protect you in case anything went wrong. It's a good thing I did, too. Things spun out of control. It's a shame he had to die. Falk Friedman saved your life. As for Reza, it's more complicated. He's been an unwitting agent of Wati. His reckless investigations caught their attention. They needed to manipulate the press and they wanted to keep an eye on you. He was an easy tool, so they brainwashed him. We'll fix Reza, I promise. Wati, the dream machine. They must somehow be connected to Helena and Jiva. So what's Wati Corp's role in this? Wadi funded us, funded the development of the Dream Machine. We needed to collect and store dream energy. The Dream Machine facilitated that. They thought we were working for them, not the other way around. Wadi just wanted brainwashed consumers. They wanted to sell their silly toy to billions and rule over a virtual world. They have no imagination. How does Arcadia fit into the puzzle? If that wasn't a dream, then what is it? And Arcadia? One of many worlds spawned from dreams. A world of... <sighs> I, I'm a scientist. I don't understand magic. It's chaotic, complex, and unpredictable. Magic is dangerous, and it has no place in a rational universe. But we needed it. 
We had to bridge the divide in order to store these vast quantities of dream energy. We put things in motion to return you to Arcadia, but you do most of the work yourself. Of course, we had help on, on the other side, a, a partner, but he didn't... You did it on your own, Zoe. You were compelled to connect with the primal force that inhabited the initial state before this universe. That was only possible by crossing the divide. Something called you there. Some force guided you. I, I don't know how to quantify it or explain it. But you succeeded. You absorbed the energy, and it didn't kill you. You got stronger. Strong enough to wake up and break out sooner than anticipated, but the timing ended up being perfect. You've reached your full potential. You're finally ready to interface with Eingana. She's mentioned Eingana several times now. It sounds important and familiar. Eingana. Meet Eingana. It took me decades to design and build her. She spans dimensions, taps into the dream energies. She's quite the thing. But she's actually not the first. Wadi had the prototype. They used her to operate the beta version of DreamNet. After she was destroyed, we built Eingana too. She operates the version of DreamNet currently processing and recording the dreams of hundreds of millions of Dream Machine users. And now, we're reversing the process with you as the conduit, connecting quantum fields, connecting dream time with reality. Eingana will begin to alter our observable universe. Don't look so worried, Zoe. You won't need to do anything. She knows what to do. I've programmed her, and my template will guide her. Together, you'll make a better world. A world without sickness or death, a world without superstition, intolerance. A world where everyone's equal, where justice and compassion will prevail. A world not ruled by corporations or religions, but by science and logic, by rational thought. A better world. She's waiting for me to respond. I think she needs me to understand. If I don't say anything, I know this is a lot to take in, and I don't expect you to understand all of it right away. But in time, you will. Here we go. Crow? Crow, is that you? I think so. I'm... I'm supposed to show you something. What? Why? What are you doing here? And where is here? I don't know. I don't even know how I got here. I'm... I'm a, a bit... Uh, a bit... I don't feel right. I'm not sure what happened. And I'm not sure I'm all here if that makes sense. Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. I can see how that makes no sense. What are you supposed to show me? Oh, I almost forgot. So the ghost in the machine told me to do this thing. This one last thing. The ghost said that this has been my destiny all along. I don't expect you'll know what I'm talking about. Crow, I don't even know where this is. A minute ago, I was inside a pod in a lab, and now... We're inside the quantum weave that makes all the stories. This is reality's blueprint. How did I know that? What does quantum mean? What's a blueprint? Well, that explains everything. That was sarcasm. I detect sarcasm. This ghost in the machine, who was it? No idea. I remember nothing before meeting you here. Aside from a ghost telling me to show you what I'm about to show you. And I don't even know what that is. Show me what? There's nothing here. Let's go find it.
Does this look at all familiar to you? It looks like a monastery. There you go. Maybe that's it. That doesn't really help. Hey, that looks like a diary. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path, the other path, leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse? Our Westhouse? The plot thickens. Thickens or just getting more muddled. I don't know what this is supposed to tell us. That Westhouse is involved? There's that, I guess. Come on, there's more. We're ready, traveler. Your journey is about to begin. The ritual is ready. Step onto the dais, traveler. just happened? Portals. They're all over the place. Let's follow him. Through the... Wait! This is the story time. You know this place? I remember. I was here. For a long time. It's the place between. I didn't want to wake up and they... They needed me. The people who were dreaming. They were sick. I tried to help them. Uh-huh. Interesting. But we need to see what's going on. I'm supposed to show you this. What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I... don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I... I don't... know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. God. What... Is that? No. 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 What is that terrifying thing? That's the undreaming. I know it is. I feel it. Well. That's going to give me nightmares for a long, long time. The Undreaming entered West House. It sure did. Was he looking for it? Is that why he came here? Or was it an accident? I guess that's what you're supposed to figure out. Come on, we have more places to visit.
sweet home. The house feels strangely quiet. It must be, what, a year since I last visited? And who knows how long it's been for the house. Could be a day, could be decades. Balance, I need to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see, elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. Rope check. Spatula, check. I'm out of the elixir. Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga, this is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? Let's see. Elixir of extraordinary extra human strength. Elixir of multiple consecutive climaxes. Elixir of selective remembrance. Hmm. There. Elixir of delayed onset of mortality. That's the one. Keep ticking after you've taken a licking. Page 108. Dried blood bog blossoms. Leaf of void oak. Boiled in strong liquor. Those things should be easy enough to find around here. Isn't the house supposed to take care of all living things inside it? I didn't know I had to water the flowers. Oh, but wait, maybe... Dried blood bog blossoms. Check. Jade green baiju. High grade stuff, too. I'd almost forgotten about this little bottle of liquor. This should be more than good enough. What a mess. But there should be void oak leaves here. Leaf of void oak, nice and dry. I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. And there's still time on the clock. Time to boil up some elixir. That's the alcohol heating nicely. Mmm, nice. Bit of a waste, but it's for a good cause. Dry leaf, crumpled to a fine dust. And whole blossoms, perfect. Now it just needs to boil again. How do I know when this is done? Will there be a... Definitely a poof. Looks the right color. And it's already cooled down. I love alchemy. So much easier than chemistry. 
Laws of science need not apply. Rope, spatula, elixir. Check, check, and check. I think that's everything. With only minutes to spare, you'd almost think the stars are aligning on purpose. Except no stars, paths. Time to go knock down a wall. This should do the trick. You know that feeling when paths don't line up with where you want to go? That feeling. In all fairness, when these song lines were first sung, I don't think these walls were here. Or these metal gears. No worries, I come prepared, because prophecies. This is so enormous. I'm almost impressed. But uh, there's a gap and I can feel a draft. This is it, the way out. Second one from Perfect Fit. <laughs> the spatula really is the queen of kitchen utensils. I feel like I'm playing life on cheat mode. That's him, down there. I hope I'm not too late. No, we should be good. I'm on schedule.
drink. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Will you not stay silent for one bloody minute? I can't. I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't dream. I can't have you inside me. You're eating me up. Why are you not doing what I've asked you to do? You're supposed to give me power. You're supposed to serve me, not... not the other way around! Stop whispering! Magic must be destroyed for the worlds to become one. For Stark and Arcadia to reconnect. For me to return home. You must help me accomplish this. You must listen to me. You see, if magic leaks into Stark, it'll cause chaos. And mayhem. Millions will die. I... I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. It must be done. So, Brian is the prophet. That's a twist I didn't see coming. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I saw that coming. Brian's possessed by the undreaming. He brings it to Arcadia, and then it starts... talking to him? Controlling him? Sounded to me like he wanted to control it. But why? Uh, to destroy magic? There must be more to it than that. I'm just repeating what he said. Come on, there's much more. I've been here before. The Dark People's Library. Something happened here that... Okay, here we go. Who's there? Hello? Funny bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no. What are you? <coughs> he killed the white dragon. Yeah, and I was there. I saw Mr. Westhouse, and he saw me. He tried to kill me too, but I was struck with something from that pointy magic stick of his and I... I blacked out. Next thing I know, I was stowed away on a ship to Sadir. I must have crawled into a barrel or something. I didn't remember any of it until... until the Prophet grabbed me. I heard him. There was blood and... I don't know what happened next, but his blood... That's what's helping me pull you into these memories. The Prophet's blood! Is that weird? No weirder than anything else I've experienced this past week. Welcome to my life. Do you question the goddess, Utana? Of... of course not. I... just want... I need to understand why all non-humans must be destroyed. Magic is an aberration. It has no place in this cosmos. It's chaos. 
and chaos interferes with logic, with the engine, with her plans. This I understand. Reunification cannot happen as long as Arcadia is ruled by magic. But the non-humans... If we are to fulfill the wishes of the Goddess, we must purify the world. Only then can the mechanical engine serve her. Do you understand now? I... Uh... Yes. Master. My office will establish camps and ship non-humans to the islands. And I'll find someone to spearhead the program to uh, eradicate magicals. Good. I'll be leaving for the Northland soon to oversee the final construction of the tower and the engine. I trust Azadir is in good hands. Oh, the Masked Council answers to me only. The Six will continue to heed our advice. Sadir belongs to us, Master Prophet. And this new emissary? Sister Saya will join you. She's young, but clever and loyal. She'll serve you well in Mercuria. I trust your judgment. Send word when the camps are ready, Otana. Did you understand that? No, but that was Mother Utana. She took me in after I arrived in Sadir. I did some work for her. She helped me get back to Markuria. Kian and her appeared to be very close until... until she stabbed him with a knife to the belly. She what? That... that just happened. Out there, before the Prophet wrung my neck and... Oh, Mother of Ravens, I remember now. I remember what happened. I, I think I died. Am I dead? You're here. That's all I know. So Mother... Mother Utana serves the Prophet, and the Prophet orchestrates the destruction of Magicals. Which means Westhouse is responsible for... for actual genocide. God. I feel weird, Zoe. I don't like this feeling. I'm... I'm scared. I'm sorry, Crow. It was... it was filled with numbers and calculations, an eternity of equations. I couldn't find my way out. It was terrifying. So much power. I owe you my life, sir. And now you will serve me. How? You'll help me build something. A mechanical engine. Like that calculator I was trapped inside? Something like it, but much greater. On a scale never before seen. In return, I'll grant you power. Power? What kind of power? The kind you once knew, Necromancer King. That was a long time ago. Another age. One in which magic meant something. I accept your proposition. So what's next? <laughs> <sighs> what did you do? What did you put inside me? Something to keep safe. Something that must remain hidden. It whispers to me. Don't listen to it. The Undreaming has ambitions. Best we don't let those ambitions loose on the world. Not yet. Tell no one of this. There are those who are willing to commit murder to get to what's inside you. 
My... my lips are sealed, Master. I swear. Only the scepter can shatter the shard of the soul stone you carry within. The soul stone? My soul stone? It was never yours, wizard. But yes, a piece of it. This scepter and the soul stone were forged from the same dream at the beginning of everything. Is that... Is that the silver spear of Gorimon? Where did you find it? It harbors great and ancient magics. Could I? No. And not magic. This is an object older than magic. It can both control and destroy magic. It's capable of slicing through the fabric between worlds. It's so beautiful. I spent decades looking for it. I found it with one of the Dryak kin. It looks... alive? It's been fed the blood of dragons, charged with the oldest magic of them all. It's finally ready. And once my engine has been built, the Scepter's true powers will be revealed. You'll stay close to me, in Mercuria. I'll call on you when I need you. With the help of the Azadi Nation, you'll build my engine. They're eager for the power they believe it'll grant them. They'll serve me, their prophet. In exchange, you'll have everything you could ever want. You'll be there, next to me. Reshaping worlds. I look forward to it, Master. I knew that wizard couldn't be trusted. I could have told you that. Wait, I did. He was there, Clax. When the Prophet broke my neck, he's working for the Prophet. So Clax has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him. That must be the same Soul Stone I brought to Lux. Why does the Prophet need to keep it safe? Something to do with the Undreaming? The Undreaming? It's inside that shard. It's not inside West House because... because then it'd be controlling him and he's the one controlling it. You were right, Crow. I was? I was! I think... I think this is what I was supposed to show you. Okay, so what's next? We keep walking, I guess. I mean, maybe there's more to see. April? You. I should have guessed you'd be here. Or, it's not actually you. This place is strange. You're probably just an, an echo, a ghost. What was that whole thing about find her, save her? I found you, but I didn't save you. I didn't save anyone. You did. How? I was trapped. You freed me. You died. And was reborn. Reborn? How? You're not telling. Or oh, this echo is incomplete. I know this can't be you, not really, because... You're dead, and this is just... <sighs> so, what do I do now? I'm supposed to save the dream, but I don't know how. What have you learned? I don't know. Westhouse brought the Undreaming to Arcadia. First, it was inside him, but then he put it into the Soul Stone Shard. He became the Prophet, and he manipulated the Azadi people freed Clax and... Clax? The shards inside Clax. Which means the undreaming is inside Clax. And that spear can shatter it. The one that killed the white dragon? The silver spear of... of... Gorimon? That's what you were supposed to show me, Crow. The key to destroying the shard and unleashing the undreaming. The undreaming isn't the real danger here. I mean, yes, it is dangerous, but only because Westhouse is using it, controlling it. We need to unleash the undreaming. That sounds a teensy weensy bit risky. I know, but this is what has to happen. I don't know why I know. 
Maybe because Lux knows, and Lux is part of me now. We find the spear, and murder Clax, and unleash the Undreaming, all by ourselves? We can't. We need help. We need... Kian. Kian. If I can get word to Kian, then... There's still hope. But I need to get out of here. Uh... How do I get out of here? Good luck, Zoe. Hey, funny bird. April? Are you ready to go now? I... yeah. Yeah, I am. I've missed you, April. I've missed you too. Come on, Crow. We have a long journey ahead of us. I'm back. Well, my mind's back. I know what I need to do, but... I'm still in the fucking pod. I need to get out of the pod right now. Okay, so I don't think Helena knows I'm awake. Better keep it that way, or she'll just drug me again. 